Surfactants are surface active agents, incredibly useful molecules that can markedly change how substances, especially substances that aren't naturally compatible, interact with one another. But where do these molecules come from? It's not like they grow on trees, or do they? For us, the process starts with sustainable forestry, which means for every tree we harvest, we plant five. Our tree. 70% is made up of fiber used to make paper products. 28% is a substance called lignin, a dispersant used in a variety of applications. And that remaining 2%? Natural tree oils. We recover these oils and derivatize them, change them. We literally manipulate their structure through chemical reactions to create a desired effect. And in this case, the desired effect is the creation of a molecule that will allow our scientists to use what nature likes to improve the process of asphalt paving. But how does it work? Let's go back to our beaker. And this time, instead of filling it with water, let's fill it with oil. Like before, we'll add surfactant molecules. And remember, this is what's going on at a molecular level. The nonpolar tails are attracted to the nonpolar oil and the molecules begin to form micelles. Since the surfactant molecules are in oil instead of water, the micelles are inverted. All the polar heads want to be together, and all the nonpolar tails prefer the oil. If water is added, it is drawn to the polar heads and resides happily inside the micelles. Now what if we apply these same principles to the production of asphalt? Traditionally, it has taken the application of extreme heat to get the nonpolar asphalt and oil to coat the polar aggregates, rocks made up primarily of polar minerals like quartz. But when evotherm is introduced, a solution that includes our specially engineered surfactant molecules, much of the heat energy is replaced with chemical energy. The evotherm molecules go to the interface. The polar heads are attracted to the polar properties in the rocks and the nonpolar tails attract the oil. Any water that is present, whether added or naturally occurring in the aggregate, is captured within the micelles. Our aggregate, our rocks, are now coated in asphalt oil, and nature did most of the work. But superior coating alone isn't enough to build a road. We'll need those micelles that remain in the mix. Evotherm Chemistry 201, compaction, coming up next.